son, this is your dad. <coughs> I don't know when you may ever see this video. I may be long gone by the time you ever see this. But I want you to know, son, your daddy loves you with all of his heart. And I'm out here fighting for you, buddy. While I believe wholeheartedly that you need to know the good, the bad, the ugly, all of the in-between about both your parents, me and your mama, and about life in general. I don't really want to talk bad about your mama. See, we all have a decision we have to make every single day, multiple times per day. And that decision is in which whom to serve, God or Satan. And son, whomever we choose to serve, that's whom we give ourselves over to, to be used as a tool. If we give ourselves over to God, then we allow Him to use us and to speak through us. But in those moments of sin, we give ourselves over to Satan, the rulers of darkness, <clears throat> that's spoken about in Ephesians chapter 10, verse 18 through... Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. <clears throat> Son, right now, at this season of life, your mama has made the wrong decision in which whom to serve. But see, just like Ephesians chapter 6 tells us, our, our war isn't with flesh and blood against principalities and powers and the rulers of darkness of this world, wickedness in high places. And I will continue to fight both legally and down on my knees for you, son. But I want you to know this is your mom's decision to keep you from me. No. That's inaccurate. This is Satan's decision to keep you from me. And your mom's just but a willing vessel to do his bidding for him. <clears throat> but I want you to look into my eyes right now, son. I want you to know that I love you with every ounce fiber of my being I love you so much and I will never ever stop fighting for you baby boy no matter how young or old you may be no matter how old I may get till I take the very last breath within this body I will always fight for you and then when I get to heaven, if the Lord willing, I'll always be looking over you. And I'll always be going to battle for you there too. I'll always be talking to, to the Father about you and to the Son. I'll always be requesting extra guardian angels to watch over you, baby boy. daddy's heart your daddy's heart mm. I know I know who my war is against and so I cannot let it bring me down <clears throat> I have to
to just fight, fight, fight. First down on my knees in prayer. And second, by doing all that I know to do to stand and then standing there for it with my loins girt about with all truth and my breastplate of righteousness on. Giving thanks in all things as if as though they were, even though the appearance says that they're not. For faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You remember that, son. Son, when you go to the Father in prayer, Talk to him like you would me. Just talk to him. Just talk to him like I'm talking to you right now. You don't have to have no special uh, rhythm to it or <clears throat> ritual to it or any of that. Matter of fact, God don't want no ritual. He wants you to talk to him as a child because that's what you are to him. That's what I am to him. We are his children. I love you, son. I love you so much. We'll see each other again. <laughs>